When it comes to an AV over IP network, everyone knows that video consumes enormous amounts of bandwidth. It can be a little hard to visualize sometimes, so we figured we'd use Skittles to help illustrate it. There are a lot of factors that go into determining total video bandwidth, but for the sake of this illustration, these Skittles will represent pixels. Hey! And as much as I would love to have a one-to-one -one ratio of pixels to Skittles, once you run the math, it quickly gets out of hand. So in this case, one Skittle equals 1,200 pixels. Let's start by going back to standard definition, 4x3 television. 640 pixels wide by 480 pixels high for a total of almost 307,200 pixels or 246 Skittles. And if you're old enough to remember the 80s and 90s, this was great. I watched a lot of TGIF on standard definition television. But around the turn of the century came high definition. It was mind blowing that we were now going to watch TV in 16 by nine widescreen format. 720p nearly tripled our resolution from standard definition, resulting in close to a million pixels, or 733 Skittles. But the industry didn't wait long, and just a few years later, 1080p became the standard for television and online video. To this day, it still holds up, offering great video quality while not overtaxing your network. 1080p doubled 720's resolution with over 2 million pixels, or 1,651 Skittles. I think you can see where I'm going with this, so I'm just going to cut to the chase. 4K has quadrupled 1080p with over 8 million pixels, or 6,600 Skittles. At this point, I know what you're thinking. You want to see 8K. I got you. 8K has a whopping 33 million pixels, or 26,415 Skittles. Full transparency, I did not count each one of those. Now, as I mentioned before, Pixels are just one part of the total video bandwidth equation. Add in color channels, bit depths, frame rates, and you literally multiply these resolutions by the thousands per second. It's a lot of data. So what's the point? This demonstration helps us visualize the most critical component when planning video bandwidth for your AV system, your network. It's the connection that moves all of this data to your hardware, and it's gotta move fast. Your facility might have some of the greatest high-definition displays the industry has to offer, and they're built to handle each and every one of these pixels. But if your network isn't robust enough to handle all that data, you'll never maximize the full potential of your hardware. Even just one HDMI cable that isn't certified for a specific bandwidth or resolution will limit the potential of your hardware. So where do you begin to plan a system like this? Well, it all begins with the application which resolution makes sense for your content and your hardware. For example, let's say you have a one gigabit switch network with CAT 6A cabling. You're not gonna be able to move 8K without heavy compression. However, a 10 gigabit switch network is much more feasible. When planning your AV over IP network, a little math can go a long way to ensure that you create a network that makes sense for your content and your budget. If you're interested in the total video bandwidth formula, we'll include it in the description below this video. And if you really want to go deeper on this topic, check out our AV over IP Foundations course by visiting avixa.org. Join us next time as we talk about video compression. Did you have to hit it so hard? <laughs>